Well, step one, go buy one. They're like 40 bucks a marketplace. People don't want them. Buy them for one-time use. You can pick one up for cheap. Step two, figure out which holes you're going to use. I have thin bolts, thicker bolts. Obviously, we're going to do thicker, except I can't use this hole because we're going to be taking that lower unit off. This is a starter. There's no thread. So the new bolts I bought, I got a nut for the back. Don't forget, one bolt, two bolts. So I'm going to be using these two on the sides. This one and that one. These are threaded. There's four holes. First attempt after screwing it on. So here, the starter ones, I got two nuts, so that worked out perfect. This is like nice and tight. These are adjusted, so unscrew these. Move that around until it matches your holes perfectly. I ran out of washers, and this one's threaded, so I didn't know if I have enough thread. So what I did is, uh, these are uh, redneckery.com right here, but it works. These two are on this side. Uh, let's see if it uh, tips over or holds. This is a 1,000 pound engine stand, not the 750, so I'm assuming this engine with everything on is 568 pounds. So this is overkill, should, should hold it. All right, moment of truth. Will it fall over? Never used one of these before. We'll go slow, release the tension. The water pump is peeing. Wow, it's actually holding. That is crazy. We succeeded, guys. So I guess you can listen to my advice.